Hi everyone. Welcome back to the series of data interpretation part 2. Today we are going to discuss about line graph. Okay. Let's get into that. Let's analyze the question. Here the question given us the line chart given below shows the ratio of production to sales of two bike manufacturing firms over the period of six years. Here if you observe the graph, okay, this is completely based on line graph. Here over the period of six years, so to, from 2011 to 2016, they have given. And they, uh, what this line graph indicates is, it is the ratio of, the ratio of production of sales to, uh, I mean production to sales ratio. Okay. Now these values indicates the ratio of production to sales of two bike manufacturing companies. Here we have two different colors, one with blue and next one is orange. So here they have clearly mentioned that the blue line indicates the company one and orange line indicates the company two. And they have given some uh, certain values. Okay. Uh, here they have given in terms of decimals. Okay. Let me uh, give you the information about these decimals. Because, sir, here they have given that ratio, then why they have given in terms of decimal means? Very simple. Let's try to analyze this diagram. In 2012, in 2012, orange line indicates company 2, right? Now, in 2012, orange line indicates company 2. In 2012, company 2, the value is 0 0.75, right? 0 0.75. This 0 0.75 indicates, can I write it as 75 by 100? 75 by 100, can I write? Yes. So, next, this will be cancelled with 25, 3 times is 75, 25, 4 times is 100. Means, indirectly, they have given, in terms of decimals, you need to convert that in terms of fraction. Means, in the form of P by Q. I can say that this 0 0.75 can also be written as 3 by 4. Okay means one is production, production to sales ratio. So, the production to sales ratio is 3 by 4 or you can also represent 3 is to 4. This is how we need to solve, we need to take the values to solve this particular question. Now, here let us get into the question first. Okay. So, after analyzing here we have ratio values and here we have total for 6 years. Okay. Now, let us see the first question. If the sales of company 1 in the year 2015 was 50,000 units. So, let us write the data here. C1 indicates company 1. Now, here clearly we know that company 1 is which line, which color line? Blue color line. Blue color indicates company 1. Orange color indicates company 2. Now, from company 1, the sales in the year 2015. Now, check where is that year 2015. This is the year 2015. And the sales line indicates, okay, I mean the company 1 indicates 1.3. Now, I can say that in 2015 company 1, okay, the value given as 1.3, okay. Now, how I can write this in terms of production to sales ratio? Can I write it as 13 by 10? Can I write it as 13 by 10? Yes. So, here if you observe, okay. What, what was the value given here? The sales of company 1 in 2015. The sales means here 10 parts value given it as 50,000 units. So, this 10 parts value is given it as 50,000 units. Obviously, the ratio means we should consider it as parts. This 10 parts is 15,000. What is the question they are asking? Then what was its production in, in the year 2015? In the same 2015 year, they are asking you to find how many? Uh, units that the production value gives. So, here 10 parts is 15,000 means, can I say that one part is 5,000? If one part is 5,000, 13 parts will be 13 5 times is 65. So, answer is 65,000. So, here very simple logic, whenever you will get these type of questions, first analyze the graph and then try to substitute that. First, they have given that production to sales ratio, that 1.3 can be written as 13 by 10. So, sales 10 parts is given as 50,000. Now, if 10 parts is 50,000, obviously 13 parts will be 65,000. This is what your final answer. So, here where is that 65,000? Yes, of course it is 65,000. I hope you all are clear with this first question. Let us move on to the second one. Let us say the second question, the production of company 2 in the year 2012. Now, here they mentioned that company 2, which year? 
2012 now here they given the value 30000 is about production right here we have a ratio for production to sales okay you should be uh, observing uh, i mean uh, you should observe clearly that whether they have given the values whether it is production or sales here the production value is given if the sales of company 2 in the year 2012 and 13 is same then what was its production in the year 2013 so here they have given one more extra condition as well so first we'll just uh, try to decode it so first statement is production of company 2 2012 let's say 2012 company 2 means orange color line right so company 2 2012 indicates production to sales ratio is 0.75 can i write it as 0.75 as 3 by 4 okay so i'm writing it directly here okay so production to sales is nothing but 3 by 4 now what was the value given here production value is given means three parts value given it as 30000 If three parts value is thirty thousand, what about four parts value? Four parts value will be forty thousand, right? So we got to know that the sales of company two in two thousand twelve is forty thousand. Now let's try to understand the logic now. If sales of company two in two thousand twelve and thirteen is same, whatever the sales in two thousand twelve, even the same company, okay, in two thousand thirteen, okay, whatever the production to sales. okay we will get the value here so the same sales same sales means here whatever the sales is 40000 even the sales value here also it is 40000 first let's try to understand the ratio given in the graph in 2013 2013 company 2 is 0.4 can i write it as 0.4 is 4 by 10 4 by 10 indicates 2 by 5 so i am writing it as 2 by 5 already we got to know that here this sales in 2012 2013 is same now can i write it as this five parts indicates 40000 because these two they have given it as same okay these two are same sales now five parts value 40000 now here if you observe the question what was its production in 2013 they are asking us to find these two parts value the production in 2013 is two parts if five parts value is 40000 now each part value will gives you 8000 right so one part value is nothing but 8000 now what is the question here two parts value so two parts value indicates 16000 so this is what you are so, so here we have option 2 16000 i hope you all are clear with this question so here two set of conditions in two different years we just need to understand the logic here Yeah, uh, the sales in 2012 and sales in 2013 both are same. So I'm equating these two values. So here, four parts value we got to know it is 40,000. Now we are equating with the same value. Okay. So let's move on to the next question. Now the third question. If you read out the question, the production of company one in the year 2014 is 18,000, and the sales of company two in 2012 is 15,000. Here they are asking us to find the ratio here. Very very important here. okay let's understand the question the production of company 1 in the year 2014 so here they are talking about company 1 which year 2014 company 1 indicates blue color line so c1 2014 where it is 2014 here we have 2014 blue color line indicates 0.9 now production to sales 0.9 means can i write it as 9 by 10 9 by 10 so here they have clearly given that production is 18000 so production means here nine parts is 18000 if nine parts is 18000 each part value will be 2000 right so if one part value is 2000 okay 10 parts value will be 20000 we got to know that okay the sales of company 1 in 2014 is 20000 now let's try to understand the question now the sales of company 2 in the year 2012 is 15000 now here let's say company 2 2012 so company 2 2012 we, here we have 2012 company 2 is 0.75 so production to sales is nothing but okay so 0.75 means can i write it as 3 by 4 here they have clearly mentioned that the sales in of company 2 in 2012 so sales four parts value is 15000 if four parts value is 
each part value will be 3750 right because 15000 what what is half of 15000 7500 what is half of 7500 so that will gives your answer 3750 so if you observe if one part is 3750 okay so here three parts value will be 11250 right so we got to know company 2 2012 production and sales values we got to know and company 1 2014 production and sales values also we knows right now what is the question here the ratio here they are asking us to find the ratio the ratio of difference in sales and production of company 1 in 2014 company 2 in 2012 now company 1 in 2014 company 2 in 2000 well, they are asking us to find the ratio of the differences. Here, what is the difference here? We have 2000 is the difference, right? Now, what is the difference here? 3750, right? 3750. Now, they are asking us to find the ratio, okay? Here, 2000 is to 3750. They are asking us to find ratio. Now, let us try to cancel these values here. 2375 if you observe 2375 are 25 multiples right 25 multiples 25 how many times is 200 25 4 times is 100 then 25 8 times will be 200 now i can say that 8 okay now 24 sorry 25 4 times is 100 4 4 4 means 12 set will gives you 300 and here 75 more we have i can say that 25 15 times is 375 okay so the final answer we got to know the ratio of the difference between the values of production and sales is nothing but 8 is to 15 so i can write it here 8 is to 15 will be the ratio is there option here yes option one so option one is correct i hope you all are clear with this it's all about like the way how you are interpreting the data okay depends on okay whether uh, whether it may be a uh, line graph or bar graph or pie chart whatever it is okay it's all about how you are analyzing the data depends on how you are going to solve the questions okay let's try to go with next one okay here the question number 4 okay the company 1 sold 20000 bikes each year okay so company 1 sold 20000 sold in the sense obviously they are selling means sales means company 1 sales Company one sales is twenty thousand. Okay, twenty thousand every year from two thousand eleven to two thousand sixteen. And company two sold ten thousand bikes each year from two thousand eleven to sixteen again. Now they are asking us to find the difference in average yearly production. Very simple, guys. Here, when you are talking about company one, and when you are talking about company two. Okay, so I'll just tell you how to solve this. So company 1 they are talking about company 1 is selling 20000 bikes every year means from 2011 to 2016 let's consider for 2011 okay when we consider for 2011 production to sales okay here the sales value already given okay so it is 20000 but let's try to connect with 2011 company 1 sales value company 1 sales value is it is 3 by 3 by 5 because 0 0.6 indicates 3 by 5 right here we have 0 0.6 blue color line okay so 3 by 5 this 5 parts value given it as 20,000 when 5 parts value is 20,000 each part value represents 4,000 now 3 parts will be 12,000 okay we got to know that production now highlight that point okay highlight that point similarly even in 2012 you write the same thing production to sales ratio now in 2012 production to sales ratio is 9 by 10 here 10 parts indicates again 20000 because the sales is same for company one throughout the years right so 10 parts is 20000 9 parts will be 18000 now we got to know production value in 2012 as well likewise continue till 2016 okay you will get to know all production value highlight these values production values now in the similar case for company 2 let me explain if you consider for 2011 okay production to sales ratio for company 2 production to sales ratio is 0 0.8 0 0.8 means can i say that it is 4 by 5 but here for company 2 every year they are selling 10000 bikes in the question they have clearly mentioned 
ten thousand bikes. Okay. Now five parts indicates ten thousand. If five parts indicates ten thousand, four parts indicates eight thousand. Right? Four parts indicates eight thousand. Now similar way. Here we got to know production for company two throughout the years. Even continue the same thing for 2012. Even continue the same thing for 2013 till 2016. Now whatever the production values you are getting in company one, highlight all the production values. On company two, whatever the production values you are getting, highlight all the production values. Now what you need to calculate is okay. Here if you observe, what is the difference in average yearly production? Of company one and company two, so find out average of all production values. Hope you know how to calculate average. Average is all about adding up all the values divided by writing the count, sum of observations by number of observations. You will get to know average of company one. Okay, after adding all the production values, from here you will get to know average of company two after adding all the only production values. Okay, after finding it out, average of company one and company two. What is the question here? Difference. So average of company one and average of company two. By taking these two differences, you will get the final answer, and that option will be one of those four options. Okay. So here is a question for you. I already explained clear cut like how to solve it. Uh, I mean, uh, what kind of things that we can use in this particular question. So solve it. Okay. Uh, try to post your answers in the comment box, especially for this particular question. Okay, so if you post it correctly, I'll pin it in the comment box. Okay, this is how like we can solve this question. Yeah, thank you guys.